Today I want to paint a chrysalis. So I have a little story about this chrysalis that I'm currently working on for a little blog post. Um, and if you guys are interested in knowing about the story and uh, seeing some pictures of the chrysalis and some reference photos and stuff, I'll put the link below and you guys can go check it out. Um, or just visit me on Patreon. Patreon says to Garlet Damon and it'll all be there. So I'm doing a wet and wet. I'm just putting down some water. I'm putting down a lot of water. And here, I'm trying to get the shadows in first. Don't have to do this, of course, but this is just how I feel like doing it today. So I've got some of the water in here. Now I've picked up I've picked up a sap green and I'm going to drop it in. This is going to be a really quick, fun little thing. You can hear my goats crying outside, so I gotta make it kind of quick because I need to go check on them. And I'm just coming down on the edge, dropping in a few dots here and there. Don't want to go over my line. Okay, and where I think there might be a highlight, I want to leave that open or just leave it untouched. So I'll preserve my highlights by not touching them. Picking up a little more water and now going on the other side and not touching this side again. And there's a little bit of a highlight in the middle, so I'm just going to leave that open. And I didn't actually clean that brush, but that's okay. Because we're kind of adding that color back in anyway. So I want to put a little more water here and just blend this out. I don't want any hard edges there. Perfect. And then down here, there's a little bit of texture. So I'm just lifting off a little bit of that color and I want to put it down here. A little more water. It can be really strong when it comes um, out of the palette off the or out of the wells, paint wells. So if you want to dilute it because that was a little too much, then you want to put it onto a palette and add some water and make sure there's not so much water on your brush then. So we've got that, and it's a little bit yellow coming in here. Um, and now I might need to let it dry, or I could try to put this little black dot on top, and then there's a beautiful gold line that goes here. And I need a little bit of, I need more contrast, right? Oh, that brush might be too big for this. Tap in a little bit down here, and way up here. You need to add in those shadows so that things look like they've got form. So this part underneath, it kind of it comes out. So if I add a tiny little bit under there, and I want this to bleed. I want it to mix and bleed into each other. So that's what it's doing. That's good. And down here, I actually want to pull this because I don't want those, uh, what I call the little fingers. I don't want them. I just want to pull them out until it's perfectly, ooh, perfectly soft. There, and then blend that. There we go. So we're going to have a nice hard edge down the bottom. And now this tiny little bit down here, which you can definitely see, I'm going to actually add a little bit of color there as well. Because that's a highlight. So I'm just adding that itty bitty bit down there. 
to complete it and leave it there. Drop in some more dots. Now the paint is drying, and so as I drop this in, it's very little paint, and it's spreading, but only a tiny, tiny bit, which is good. If it was too wet, it would spread a lot. I don't want it to spread a lot. Like so. Um, Add something over there too. I'm gonna blend this out. So it's a little more yellow underneath. Still keeping all those highlights. And I'm gonna come back and add a wee little bit of yellow into here. So I'm just kind of glazing, just adding a smidge on top. A little bit in there too. I also want to take out this uh, this edge. I don't want an edge there. Check if a paper is almost dry. Let's start at the top because it might not be perfectly dry on the bottom. And we're going to go... Well, obviously we're painting this in. We're going to paint it in. But even here, I'm going to leave a little texture and I'm going to leave a little light on the right because this is the highlighted side. I'm going to come down here. Keep checking if my paper is actually dry. I'm hoping it'll be dry by the time I get there. And there's a little highlight. And then there's another highlight. Just underneath, right there. And where it connects to the chrysalis, it's a little bumpy. Um, it's not, it's not perfectly straight. And then there's a few dots down here. There's a little dot there, and there's a little dot after that. So, I won't tell you the whole story, but this little guy is actually sitting on my desk. Um, which is pretty cool. Okay, anything else? Oh yeah, so we also have these guys down here. Something I like to do in the summer, but you really need to read the blog uh, to learn more about why. Um, I always collect monarchs and try to save them. Bring them in the house, give them a comfortable, cozy place to make their chrysalis. And then, as soon as they're out and dry and ready, you let them go. Or I let them go. And way down here.
2018. Voila! Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett, and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. Toodaloo!